Ooh, my makeup looks really good. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue the series of what's on my makeup desk. So, as I showed you on part one, I showed you on my skin prep, I also showed you my primers. So today we're going to go in order of my makeup routine and we're going to go with foundations. So, if you want to see what foundations I love and I love to film with, then keep on watching. Like I mentioned to y'all, the side of me, I have this little desk that holds a lot of my makeup. And I have this two-tier little shelf here. I would show you, but honestly, it's like probably not that important what is holding my foundations. But I will say it is definitely convenient. So let me just clear my desk really quickly. I did my eyeshadow with the Jacqueline Cosmetics Dear Mom palette. And I love the way it looks. Everything blended out so well. So, no complaints here. I knew I would love this, so I'm glad I finally have it in my collection. Of course, all the makeup I'm wearing will be listed down below. So, if you want to know what is going on with my face, then check the description box. Okay, so I have all my foundations in front of me now, and in no particular order, I'm just going to grab and just explain. So, I have two colors of the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Now, you guys know, this is like my holy grail foundation. Of course, it's like $7 or $8.99. I don't remember how much the price is of this now, but it's in a glass jar. Full coverage, matte, long wearing. I have used this in so many videos that have, that since I started my channel. And I just can't say enough about this foundation. It's so good, so affordable. And LA Girl, LA Girl, if you're ever watching, you make a good foundation. Just love that. Love y'all. Another one I have topped here is my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I have been using this for years, I think since like the start of my channel. I've been working with Clinique for about five years now. So this is definitely like one of my favorite foundations of like all time. So love that. I have the Rare Beauty. I always forget what this is called, but this is the Rare Beauty Foundation. I, oh, so I have, let, I'm just gonna list the shades that I have. I have LA Girl Pro Matte in Cafe and Caramel. Then I have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in Toasted Wheat. And I have the Rare Beauty Foundation in 320W. I, if you can tell by like my foundations, I love a golden tone foundation. I love to look as yellow as possible. But yes, the Rare Beauty one I love. Full coverage, a little bit more hydrating. I love this foundation, honestly. Um, moving on to kind of a random one. I found this CoverGirl True Blend. I found it on sale, as you can see, at Dollar General for $4.25, which was a steal, because I think this is like an $11 foundation. This is really good. I have this in T10. I feel like I can go a little bit darker, but T10 works for me when I don't have like a tan going on. And I like this foundation. I actually like this a lot. I like to mix this actually with a couple different ones, but by itself it's really pretty, but never, never pass up a sale. I have, of course, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have this in Desert Beige. I love this foundation. I feel like this is one of the most innovative foundations at the drugstore at the time. Even now, like, full coverage, not heavy, has a little spatula, very like, well, it's not sanitary if you put it on your face, but like if you're a makeup artist, you can scratch it on the pan or, you know, put it on your mixing plate. I think it's really good that way. They have a dewy version that I have not tried and I'm really interested in. So I think that'll be like my next like drugstore foundation purchase, but I love this foundation. Of course, the Makeup Forever, what is this called? HD Skin Foundation. I love this foundation. I think this is such a good foundation and no wonder it went viral. I have it in the shade 2Y36. Now, the pump is great. It's a glass jar. Of course, it's Makeup Forever, so it's a little bit pricey. I do like to mix this with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I have this in the shade 300. I love this combo together. I think it's just so, like, matte and airbrushed. So, I love to mix these by themselves. Of course, they're amazing, but I love to mix them. Another Clinique Foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation. Now, when this launched, I have a whole video dedicated to this foundation on my channel, I'll link it down below. 
I feel like Clinique as a brand is slept on. They have so many great products, but since it's not like a mainstream brand, no one, you know, gears towards it, which is sad, but this formula is amazing. It's a satin finish. It's full coverage. I love, I can never stop talking about this foundation. If I ever talk to you about this foundation, I will. Like, it's so good. I love it. It's always going to be top tier. I have, of course, I just have a MAC Studio Fix. I always have to have a Studio Fix. I feel like this is something that everybody just has in their collection. I have it in NC44, which for me works. I think I'm more of an NC45 kind of girl, but it's like a little bit, I don't know. The tone's like a bit off, but I like it anyway. So I'll continue to use it. I have a couple different shades of Studio Fix in my kit as well, so. It's always been a stable foundation for me. I always will love Studio Fix. Another foundation I have is I have the Tarte Face Tape in the shade Tan Deep Golden. Now this is, it's dark. It's definitely dark for me. But of course, once I get my concealer on, once I get my powder on, everything just blends together. So of course I just keep this in rotation. Now, I never used to like this foundation, if I'm being completely honest. I've really grown to like it. I think you have to like work in layers with this if you want to build this up to like full, full coverage. You definitely have to like do thin layers and build it up like this is something you can't just like do like three pumps up and then go in like you can't do that with this you're gonna look cakey and it's gonna be heavy but I do once I figured out how to work with this then I liked it so there you go I have the Anastasia Luminous Foundation so actually this shade is extremely neutral for me it's 320N and it's too neutral for me but I do like the way this foundation looks on the skin. So I'll end up mixing this with something or I'll just like really bronze my life away with this. But it's really pretty. This foundation sits really well. Full coverage, but not heavy. I don't know. This is a really, I think Anastasia knew what she was doing with this formula. And I think it's a little bit slept on, but everybody has different preferences in foundation, so. This is one that I never see talked about either. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. This is so pretty on the skin. This definitely is like, it's like low full coverage, high medium coverage. It's very pretty. It's very like, it definitely is very your skin but better, but it definitely covers more than that, I would say. You definitely can, like I said, build this up but it's very pretty on the skin. I think uh, sometimes I'll mix these two together. Oh, yeah. I have the shade Tan Warm 43, and this is a really good color for me, actually. I really like the way this like looks on the skin. I don't have to do like a lot of finessing with this one, so I do love this foundation. I don't hear this talked about enough, so let's talk about this. Another Tarte foundation I have is Found Sealer. I, so, if I'm being completely honest, Tarte's, Foundations have never been my favorite. I tried the Rainforest the C1, Amazonian Clay, Found Sealer, Face Tape, Shape Tape Foundation. I've tried them all and I was never a fan. This one I'm still kind of on the fence with. I like the way it goes on, but it doesn't wear very well. And it could be because it's very hydrating and I have very dry skin. So even when I powder this, it's kind of like too emollient, I guess. It's just very like, it's too hydrating. I, it's like the only way I can describe it. But I love the dispenser on this. I think it's really cool. And I have this in tan deep sand. This also is a pretty good color for me, but I, I mean, I, I have it up here because I have it up here and I really do like it. And sometimes I will mix these two together. I mix Anastasia foundation with a lot because like I said, it's too neutral for my liking. So I do mix it a lot. So here's another one I mix it with. A kind of random one I have. I have the Honest Beauty, uh, what is this called? Everything Cream Foundation. I have this in the shade Honey. It's like a traditional like cream that you have to like warm up. I'm never, I've never been like a, it also has a, yeah, it has a sponge that I have never used because I will never. But I've never, like, I've never really used cream foundations before. It's never just been something that's, like, been on the market for me. Or just for, like, I guess, like, consumers. Like, cream foundation isn't really, like, you know, big in any kind of way. Especially not with the way makeup is now. It's definitely, I don't know. It's definitely, there definitely is, like, a market for it. But there isn't a huge one. So... I think I just bought this 
to have it because I love what Honest stands for and I love Jessica Alba. So I just bought this. I really want that loose powder. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I'm very shop. I'm shopping for makeup very intentionally. I want stuff that I can have a top row, not just like, you know, just anything anymore. So we'll see. We'll see in the future what that brings me. But yes, I have this in Honey, like I said, but really good. I do like the way this looks, but it's kind of weird working with the cream. You have to like really like work with it. Kind of, this is a newer find actually. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is the skin milk. This is what everybody was like losing their mind for on TikTok for a minute. And I found this at Dollar Tree actually, believe it or not. And I was like, I have to have this because I refuse to buy this full price if I can get it at Dollar Tree. So I did, I picked it up. I haven't used it yet, but I have the color medium tan in this. So you'll probably see this like in a future video. So stay tuned for that. With the Tinted Moisturizer Craze, I have the Cover Effects Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. I have this in the shade Tan. It is a little tan for me even, but I like the way it looks. It's very lightweight. It's super like your skin, but better. It doesn't hold a lot of coverage to it. I think it is very just like light coverage, but it's very blurry. It gives you like that natural skin finish. I really like this a lot. So I have, I've used like half of this, so really good. I also have the Clinique Moisture Surge tint, Sheer Tint. I have this in Universal Medium. I love the way this is too. This is super lightweight. Although this one, you definitely can build. Like, I feel like you can definitely build this up to like medium, like a true medium coverage if you like work with it. But I love the way this looks on the skin. I sometimes will just wear this, a little bit of concealer and powder it. And then I'll just like do my bronzer like a little bit of blush and stuff and it just looks like I have a full face on so love and then some honorable I guess not honorable mentions I still use these foundations but they have since been discontinued I have the Becca what is this called ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation this is such a good foundation I can't believe I mean again R.I.P. Becca I say this every single time, but like truly R.I.P. Becca. They were such a great makeup brand. It's so sad to see them gone, but you know, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. I have this in the shade Tan, which kind of was a little bit neutral for me. I did like to mix this actually with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Caramel. These I like to mix. You see how like golden the LA Girl is compared to the Becca? So I did like to mix them and it would give me like an amazing shade. By this, by itself, of course, it would work, but it just was easier to mix it sometimes. And then the last and final foundation I have is also a discontinued one, which is the Stila Hide and Chic Foundation. I also have a whole video dedicated to just this foundation. And I think it's one of the most top viewed videos I have on my channel. This was also such a good foundation. I have this in the shade Tan 1, which was honestly a perfect shade for me. I can't believe that this, they, I can't believe Stila discontinued this because Stila has notoriously discontinued some of my favorite foundations and I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with what they're doing. I don't care that they think it's okay. It's not okay. I am offended. Stila, fix this, fix this. But yes. This is the last foundation I keep up here. Now, the only reason I keep these up here is I still wear these because they're good foundations and I don't want them to go to waste. So in videos like today where I'm not doing my makeup on camera, well, no, I didn't use this foundation, but you know, in videos where I'm not like actively doing my makeup on camera, I'll wear a foundation just like this so I can get wear out of it or so I can use it in my arsenal, but then I'll just end up, you know, tagging it or whatever. But I love this foundation. I can't believe they discontinued this. But that is the last foundation in my collection that I film with. So that was a total of what? How many? I don't know. I'll put the number somewhere up here. Now, do you need all these foundations? Of course not. There is definitely recommendations that I have that you could, of course, go through my channel. But those are all the foundations I love to film with. Now, of course, you saw in my organizing video that I have way more foundations than this. But these are the ones that I can't keep actively in rotation because I just feel like they're the best to film with. And they're some of my favorite formulas, so that's why I keep them up here, top tier on my makeup filming station. 
So, tell me, what do you guys think? Did you see any of your favorites in here? Like, tell me down below. Comment down below if any of the foundations I'm using are your favorites. Do you have foundations that have been discontinued as well that you have been plagued with? Tell me down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, click down below. Turn on your bell notification. I've never said that, but I've actually been told by a lot of people that they're not getting notifications. So make sure you click the little bell icon and turn your notifications to all. And you'll be notified every time I post. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.